I want to tell Muslims that no ideology, no religion whatsoever can hold you hostage from birth. We're all born free people. We have a choice. And we all live one life, only one life. And in that life, we have to do our best and be our best. And never be locked into an ideology you're born in and threatened if you leave it. They say Islam is a religion of peace. But what kind of religion is it that holds people hostages by, by, by the threat of death if you leave it? What kind of ideology is that? It cannot be a peaceful ideology because a peaceful ideology uh, is, uh, does not force people to believe in it. Uh, the threat of death is only a threat of a, of a, of a philosophy and a, an ideology that, is, that lacks self-confidence. It lacks the will for people to stay in it out of being con of conviction. And I felt that Islam lacks self-confidence in itself. A religion that forces people to stay in it is a religion that that, that, that doesn't believe that people will come to it peacefully. A lot of people think that Muslims are, most of them practicing Muslims. I, I guarantee you over half Muslims are living a life of emptiness. No spirituality. They don't even practice Islam. To them, Islam is like belonging to a political party. It's like belonging to a, uh, to, um, it's like in their genes, they are born Muslims, they cannot leave it. They think they are hostages. They are uh, Muslims by force and they can see no way out. You will never know the truth if you don't search for it. I search for the truth. And I'm so glad that I was, had the courage to open a Bible, had the courage to watch that pastor on TV had the courage to say maybe I look into this because this is the first step and it's very important to let your heart never be afraid never be afraid because it is the fear that's preventing many Muslims from from knowing the true God God will be with you, bless you, if you try to look, look for God. And uh, the Bible, the Bible has so much, so much holiness, so much goodness. Open the Bible and read it. Read the words of God in the Bible. And see the difference for yourself between the hate and the love between vindictiveness and holiness between hate speech and love speech uh, the choice is yours and you have to make the decision nobody should make the decision for you for who God is don't listen to the propaganda against uh, Jesus, propaganda against the Trinity, that it's, uh, it, it must be blasphemy. It's not. It's not. It's one God. It's just God was so, so, He loved us so much. He sent us His one and only Son, Jesus Christ, and uh, to save us. He embodied God on earth for us. So he can reach us, and that's how he reached us. And that's through Jesus we can reach God. But the God is the God of all, one God. And if you read the Bible, you will be touched by the Holy Spirit. That's for sure. And when, when this happens to you, you will know. You will know immediately all by yourself. You'll find yourself on your knees, on the ground, thanking God 
for the chance that you got to know him on earth before we're all gone because I don't know how my life would have been if I had not become a Christian. I, my life would have been um, uh, totally empty because that's what I, how I felt. Islam taught me anger, it taught me hatred, it taught me um, vindictiveness and I didn't want to, to be like that. I didn't want to be angry and I thank God for for Jesus in my life. I'm very sad for the conditions in the Muslim world. It is, uh, is it any wonder there is so much uh, turmoil, civil wars, anger, uh, hatred, because they don't know Jesus Christ. And if they just understand the Lord, know the Lord, I feel so much compassion for my fellow Muslims because they, they are good people, they are just human beings, but they don't, have the, they don't have the light in their life to lead them. And they feel so uh, helpless, hopeless. They all feel hopeless and helpless. Uh, and I just pray, pray for them to really understand that there is hope and it's easy. Just get to know the Lord Jesus Christ. It will save you so much. It will save you. It will change your life forever. Don't be afraid. Get to know the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He loves you. He loves you. Just the idea that that God loves me, this is something that is not taught in Islam. I want to tell my Muslim friends, Jesus loves you. Right now, He loves you.